Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. Today's demonstration sketch is to show you a simple composition idea um, as an alternative to just following the rule of thirds. I've placed the horizon along the centre line of the paper and I've made the angle of the clouds and the rocks roughly the same to create this zigzag composition that leads the viewer around the painting and the idea uh, was to create movement and dynamism and to prevent the finished work from being just a static image. So let's begin. Um, I'm starting with the sky, working on dry paper. This is an 11 by 7 inch sheet of Sorter's Water for 300 gram uh, rough paper by the way. Uh, the blue is cerulean mixed with a touch of cobalt and I'm adding a weak mix of raw sienna to, su to suggest distant clouds at the horizon and the hint of shadows on the white clouds. I'm using the same blue for the reflection in the pooled water in the foreground. Uh, for the sea, I'm using ultra ultramarine at the horizon line and blending a jadeite and sap green mix as the sea gets uh, closer to the shore. And I'm leaving some gaps in the, uh, of white paper for the breaking waves. Always remember when painting the sea that uh, it's rarely just one colour. Okay, I've let the sea dry now and for the rocks I'm starting with a mix of ultramarine and burnt sienna and then adding burnt sienna uh, on its own and letting the colours blend together and then thinning the colour at the top of the rocks with just uh, clear water just to lighten the, the colour a little bit. The initial rock colours will dry much lighter, so I can afford to use quite strong mixes here. I've let the rocks dry now, and as you can see they've dried much lighter than when I painted them. Uh, for the sand on the, of the beach I'm using raw sienna in a variety of strengths and just at the edge of the pool uh, I'm adding some ultramarine to uh, indicate um, some damp sand. Uh, this is uh, ultramarine and burnt sienna again, and quite a strong mix for the dark parts of the rocks and the shadows on the rocks. Adding the darkest tones create contrast and depth in the painting and gives the rocks more definition. I'm now adding some darker areas in the breaking waves with some jadeite mixed with ultramarine blue. Uh, this gives them more definition and adds a little bit of uh, three dimension to them. This is the side of a, rig a rigger brush using some um, white gouache to pick up the texture of the paper to suggest some distant wave caps and I'm also using the same white for the hull of the boat. Uh, 
and finally adding some, some of the same white gouache to the uh, breaking waves. I'm just adding a touch of ultramarine uh, mixed with some jadeite to give some um, shadow on those distant breaking waves. Um, nothing too specific. And for the full sail on the yachts I'm using cadmium red with ultramarine added for the shadow, the, the shadow to give, the, give the, the sail some volume and depth. And finally I use cadmium red and ultramarine mixed with burnt sienna for the figures on the rocks with a couple of white highlights on the shoulders. And that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you found it of use and if you did please give it a like it always helps with YouTube. Do subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos if you're not already a subscriber and thanks again for watching.